There's a sweet spot with camera gimbals, especially for people like me who use it occasionally to get a nice smooth shot. I want one that's well built, easy to use, and will hold my heaviest cameras, but I don't want to pay for a lot of extra bells and whistles. Well, Zayum thinks they have a gimbal perfect for me. It's the Cinesphere Weeble 3E, not to be confused with the Weeble 3S, which used to be just the Weeble 3, but now has been rebranded to the 3S for standard, uh, I suppose the E, which probably means excellent or exotic or <laughs> probably means essential because basically the E is a stripped down version of the S for $70 less with just a few things taken out of it. Oh, and I'm told that there's also additional savings to be found on Zayum's website. You can also use a coupon code that I'm gonna give you for even more savings. And that works for the Zayum website as well as for the Amazon website. Yeah, pretty cool. Now, full disclosure, Zayum did send me this gimbal for free if I would review it. And I'm happy to do that, but I get to say whatever I want. In fact, last time I said some very critical things about one of their lights, and I thought they would never work with me again, but they were very kind. They took it as constructive criticism, and they sent me another product. Now, before I go into all the features, I want you to know that there are three things that a gimbal must have for me. Otherwise, it's not worth buying at any price. First, the gimbal has to be able to handle the payload of my heaviest camera and lens. In this case, the Zayum passes that with flying colors. And to let you know how serious I am about this being a deal breaker, the Ronin SC was a gimbal that I bought that I really quit using because it couldn't handle much at all. And uh, certainly not this rig. In fact, it was such a bear to use that I used it a couple times and never got it out of the case again because it also failed my second test. And that is, it has to be easy to set up. Now, I don't know what it is about the uh, Ronin SC, but I've had a heck of a time trying to balance it and keep it balanced. I haven't had that problem with the Zayum. Yeah, it's been great. And the third requirement is that the motors on the gimbal have to be strong enough, not only to create a smooth image, but to make up for the fact that I'm not very good at balancing gimbals. Here again, the Weeble scores very well. So the Weeble 3E passes the three big requirements that I have for a gimbal, but it's also the cheapest gimbal I know of that can pass those three requirements. But for a little bit more money, you can get a gimbal that has some extra bells and whistles. Now, the obvious thing to do is to look at the things that were taken out of the Weeble 3S and see whether they are worth the extra $70. First, the 3E doesn't have the built-in light of the 3S. And what's that worth? Well, it would be kind of nice to have a little built-in light there. So that is a bell, or maybe it's a whistle, that's probably worth, I don't know, 20 bucks? Yeah, so let's assume that's worth $20. Next, they took out the built-in microphone that was on the S3. I didn't even know it was on there, and I'm not really sure why you would want a microphone on your gimbal. So what's that worth? Uh, probably nothing. Yeah, I don't see that as a feature that anybody really wants. They also took off the extra USB-C connection that was used for follow focus and video transmission, but that required you to buy additional hardware. So for me, that's not worth anything either. Lastly, they removed the plate that allows you to use your Arca Swift uh, quick release uh, right onto the plate. And that is an inconvenience. And so that's probably worth, well, something let's say 20 bucks. So even conceding another $20 of value, uh, the S still comes up short about $30. In other words, the SE is an incredible value. But now I wanna compare this gimbal to my current favorite gimbal, the DJI RS3 Mini. Yeah, not to be confused with the piece of crap Ronin SC I talked about earlier. No, this is a fantastic little gimbal, and I did an entire video about why it's so great there. But it is actually not just $70 more, but $80 more than this gimbal. Now, to be clear, I think there are some benefits to this RS3 Mini, but is it $80 worth? Plus, there are not differences that are gonna show up in your work. No one's gonna look at your gimbal shot and say, oh, that was done with a uh, better gimbal. 
No, they're both gonna do that just as well. It's a difference in little conveniences. That's about it. First, there's some clear differences in size and weight. The RS Mini is a little smaller and lighter. Let's find out how much lighter. The Zyum comes in at um, two pounds, 10 ounces, 10.4 ounces. That's also 1,201 grams for those of you who know what a gram is. All right, let's try the RS3 Mini. Well, 985 grams or two pounds, 2.8 ounces. Okay, so not the biggest difference, but those little differences might add up for you. So what's that worth to have a little smaller and lighter gimbal? Well, that's gotta be worth 20 bucks. Yeah, I'd pay $20 to have that uh, just a little lighter. Now that extra weight in the 3E, well, that's kind of being made up for the longer battery life. This has 16 hours, where this is about, I think it's 12. But I'm not gonna exchange money here because 12 hours, 16 hours, it's about the same to me. I'm not gonna be using the gimbal for that long and I have never had a problem with the battery on this unit. Okay, which one folds up flatter? Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, the uh, S3 uh, locks in just like that and it folds up nice and flat without having to adjust anything from your balance. Okay, the RS3 loses here because it doesn't fold nearly as flat. Yeah, I'm gonna take back $10. You can get it to fold flat, but you have to take it apart, and that's a no-go for me. And now for a big difference, the RS3 Mini has a touchscreen. It's also two-tone, and it's very easy to navigate the menu with one finger. In contrast, the Zyum screen is smaller and monochromatic. It also uses the traditional menu button and a scroll wheel that can also click in to make your selections. It's not the worst design in the world, but the DJI is clearly better. And what's that worth? Well, probably a lot. I'm gonna say $40. Yeah, the screen is really nice. Well, there you have it. In my opinion, the value is still with the Zyum. This, to me, is the new king of low-cost gimbals. It is the least expensive gimbal that you can get that checks all of the required boxes. Now next, you might be asking yourself, what lens should I put on my gimbal? And to answer that, well, I made a nice little video over there. So check it out. Hey, thanks for stopping by.